Yo guys, what is up? Davis here, and this is an XCM console. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a the case is actually it was built and it was built in a factory. And I didn't do this cutout. I didn't do the LEDs. I, I did the ring of light, but I didn't do the, uh, the LEDs right around here. And it actually has a switch right here. You can see that switch, and so that turns the actual LEDs on and off. Um, just this part. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. It's got blue LEDs and it's got a 320 gigabyte hard drive. It is online ready. Uh, you just need a KV. Um, and then, you know, you don't, you'll need to make an account and everything. But I want to show you that the mod menu and everything works too. Uh, it's got all the, it's got everything you need to play online. So as soon as you get it, you're going to need to make an account and you're going to, you got to go to xbox.com to make an account and then you have to download it on your RGH and then uh, you're gonna need a KV2 so you're gonna need that KV2 before you uh, you know before you can download your console and everything I mean not console but uh, account um, so I got my controller connected and it says we're not connected right now so yeah um, and I'll show you that the disk drive works and everything so this console is gonna be on my site for sale at SharkiesCustoms.com. I'm gonna put this game in here. All right, and so it, it does work. And also, I want to show you guys something special. Open that up. I'm going to go over here, get this. And I got some games in here. I got a whole bunch of games in here. So, I got to find one. There we go. So, we're going to take this out. I hate autoplay, but autoplay is on right now. There you go, right there. So I got interrupted, but anyway guys, this console also plays burn games. Uh, now this, I don't know why it says loading, I don't know if I need to resign it or not, but um, it's LP 3.0. Uh, this disc is really fucked, so. But it's the, I didn't even burn that game, I got that console, I got the disc out of some console I got in, and, but yeah guys, this console is really nice, even though, like, I'm not a big fan of the cutout, but, I mean, it is a good console, I'll go ahead and show you guys that it's a Trinity and everything, right? I think it's a Trinity, I'm pretty sure it is. You got XEX menu on there, and you got all your games, and you got the, the Black Ops 2 bypasses, which is what you need, the all cod bypass, and you got all the programs and stuff like that on here. Let's go to Dash Launch. Yeah, Trinity RGH2. It's late, the latest dash. Good temperatures. And these are the plugins that are set up on here. And the fan speed's at 70%. So, like I said before, you're going to need a KV when you get on here. Um, I'll, I'll also show you guys freestyle dash as well once this thing decides to load up. There is no profile in here, but you can always download one. So 
So we go we click RB and also if you press the back button, it'll show you everything you need. Like it'll tell you how to do everything. So it's really helpful. Uh, one set of files, freestyle dash and default.xex, which is how you start it. And this will take you in the Aurora. I mean not Aurora, sorry, freestyle dash. And you can do all kinds of different skins and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. And you can make it boot into uh, Freestyle Dash, but honestly I don't like doing that because when you do stuff like that you can't can't really connect to the internet and stuff like that. So um, This is like an Xbox One dashboard. So like you can select whatever one you want. So let's just do this one and re reboot. And you can also go on different, um, like different sites and get your own themes and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you can you can find a source somewhere where you can download your, or where you can make your own themes actually. And so I think we click this, click X and customize. And you can do like different backgrounds and things like that. So like let's do something cool to match this console. I think there's. There you go. That's kind of close to it. And then this is like the thing under it, which I don't really know why you would need that. But let's leave it at that. Save changes. And then X. And then I think you go. Enter, you click Y, enter edit mode, there it is. And then you can change all the, the tabs and stuff like that, so click on one of these. See it changes the tab up there. Turn it on that. Wait, I didn't save it, my bad. Blue, apply changes. And then, I forget how to change the other tab, but you guys will have a lot of fun with this. And it, it is a 320 gigabyte hard drive, that's proof right there, by the way. I forgot to show that. And then it's got an internal memory as well. So, yeah guys, um, go ahead and back out of this. See, I forgot to save it. But, uh, you know, you guys will have a lot of fun. You also have Link and everything like that. And this just isn't... Like, I have the same stuff on all of my other consoles as well, it's not just this one, so... But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, extra stuff about this console, because I'm selling it, how it is, like, everything that I've shown you, you get in the picture, uh, besides the controller, but, uh, you know, so... Uh, go to my website, SharkeysCustoms.com, the link is in the description, and it'll be under the store tab, click the store tab, and then click, uh, consoles, so it'll be under there somewhere. So yeah guys, you have a great day and I appreciate you watching.